<laughs> oh yeah, that was Placebo for what it's worth. New album, it's that's fucking say, awesome. That's what I say about you every day. So, about a week ago, I finished the Sixty Nine Eyes video, and then afterwards we went to the note and got pretty loaded. And then Yusi said. Hey man, why don't you come to the Donington Festival and then you could go to the Metal Hammer Awards and present an award for Marilyn Manson? And I said, "All right, fuck yeah, when?" He's like, "Tomorrow." <laughs> so what do I do? I get Novak and Jacaso to fly to England with me, and no, Novak was the biggest piece of <laughs> shit the whole time, uh, dude. Brother. You were hell on earth, dude. I'm not going to London to buy a goddamn book. <laughs> plus, plus, <laughs> you, you, your pants sag so low, and you never have boxes on, so your I dick and that. asshole are hanging out on the airplane. I'm like, you're not even going to get through customs, dude. <laughs> Tell me how I feel my customs paper out coming back oh, about the vegetables. Man. Yeah, <laughs> you, you fill out the customs form, and it says, "Are you carrying any animals or vegetables?" He writes yes, and then, <laughs> are, "Are you carrying any like illegal?" Yeah, he circles yes to everything, and the guy's like. Well, you, you circled all this shit. Well, where is it? You looks like you don't have anything. He's like, yeah, I don't. I just have this little bag right here with a book in it. And then you're just like, well, where's all the other stuff? You circled yes to everything. Oh, I don't know what I was filling out. And then it said <laughs> name, and you put Pat Novak. I yeah. thought they wanted my, my next to kin's name. <laughs> <laughs> plus, plus he did it all wrong too. It said everything first, you could do you wrong, he did it. And then you put Novak, and then it yeah. says last name, and then you put Pat. Yeah. You're exaggerating. A couple extra numbers and your passport number. And I they mean, cut you off when you're like seventh bottle of red wine, and then you started ringing the bell, and she was getting so pissed. And then you're saying, "Yeah, my buddy Jacasso wants another red wine," and he's like, <laughs> no, "They weren't gonna give it to they're me." They're like, "He's sleeping. He doesn't want it." <laughs> they weren't gonna give it to me. God. That's then we sure. get to the hotel in Camden. <laughs> <laughs> and we wait, go wait, wait. Don't forget about his dirty socks right up in that. Uh, <laughs> oh, dude. oh, dude. Dude, you had the most minging socks the whole time because we didn't bring any luggage at all. So we had to rock whatever clothes we had on well, the whole time. You. You yeah, because it's better luggage. when you never bring any luggage yeah. because then so you don't have to. In trouble for not bringing luggage? Then you don't have to wait for your bag to come. Well, why am I in trouble for not bringing luggage if you tell me not You're not in it. trouble. You're in trouble for being a piece of shit and, and, <laughs> and your feet also reeked so bad, oh, dude. Oh, God. I bet they don't smell as bad as yours right now. Not to mention, I had to sleep next to you, and then you come in, wasted as fuck, at 5 in the morning, I'm dead asleep, and then I couldn't sleep after that because of your stinky ass feet, and then I, and then I hear your mouth, and I couldn't sleep at all, and then I hear, then you finally shut up, and then I hear, I'm like, what the fuck is that now? So I look over at Jacazo and he's sleeping. I'm like, well, it's not him. And then I look right over to you, one foot away from me, and you're jerking <laughs> on <the> off. Same <laughs> bed. I'm jerking. It's disgusting. Man, I'm glad then I slept I get, through that. I just grab the blanket and I just lay on the floor. And then, <laughs> and then Jacazo wakes up. He's like, dude, I can't let you sleep there. Just take my bed. I'll deal with it. I'll it sleep next to him. So what do you want to take me to London and say, oh, Novak was a great boy. He hung in Barnes & Nobles and read the whole time. I didn't want you to read a book at Barnes & Nobles. I just didn't want you to be a complete piece of shit. You were like falling down the stairs at the Metal Hammer Awards. Red wine spilled all over you, and your ass and dick was hanging out the whole time. There's no night and day with me, though. You know that. Did you bring any money? You didn't night. bring any money with yeah, you. Yeah, I brought money, but he wasn't. Yeah, you bought $50, all and you, you, you spent it all on Kentucky Fried Chicken. You There's any. three of us, and you buy... Eight boxes of chicken. <laughs> you wouldn't let me go home to get money, A. B, the money I brought, I couldn't buy what I wanted to buy, so I had to spend it on something, so I bought something because so I could fry chicken. Who goes to <laughs> England with $50 <laughs> and then blows it all on KFC? Sitting on this me. stoop eating chicken, man. It was, a good, it was a good moment. I think people I were just taken back by us. My, best, the favorite, my favorite picture in the whole book. Yeah, we did. We took one disposable camera. We didn't have G with us. So. <laughs> Two underwater cameras in case we wanted to get in the bed yeah. and stuff and take some freaky shots. <laughs> Why was there an underwater camera? Two underwater cameras. You should have just pissed on it and then took a photo. I think we did she at one point. should just shoved it on my head so I took a shot or something. <laughs> what the <Yeah>. fuck? <laughs> Just let Rite Aid develop that, those fat fucks. What do you think, no, what do you think uh, Novak's trashiest moment was the whole trip? Like, when was oh, he, when was he God, just one moment? All right. Jeez. There was one point where I just couldn't even deal with you anymore. You well, couldn't I, even uh, form sentences. You wanted to go out, and I'm like, I can't deal with it. Then I take you to a place, a rock bar called the Crow Bar, which is a bunch of, like, washed-up rockers, and all you're doing is, where the fuck is Pete Doherty? I want to find Pete Doherty. And they're... That's the last thing they want to hear because Pete Doherty is successful and they're not. And they're I like, we don't give a fuck about Pete Doherty. Wow, where's Pete Doherty? I'm like, shut the fuck up. He's, he's in a new tablet. He's looking pretty good these days. <laughs> he is. 
Who we didn't find him. Were you upset we didn't find him? <laughs> Dude, I, don't, I think he's a myth, a legend, a ghost, what have you. But I cannot find that fucker to save my life, man. <laughs> I mean, I don't even know if he exists. I think just someone touches buttons and makes his voice appear. <laughs> you actually, when you're at your worst moment of being drunk, you're like, fuck, I might just die here. <laughs> <laughs> I was ready to. <laughs> Yeah. I'd rather die there than come home to get fucking bitched out at. You were trying to do a cannonball off the top naked uh, at Camden Town right in front of everybody into like the most minging water ever. Didn't you Th make that a water nice... was like brown as can oh, be. Oh, yeah, that was... No, there was trash and shit in it. Didn't you make a list of like the people that you'll miss because... You I think bad that. I have it right here. Oh, good. Mom, life partner, which is me, Diva the dog, Bucky Lasik, Brother and sister, Mandy and Bill Butler. Yeah, which is my attorney, right here. <laughs> so anyone's in any